Johansson. Novak. Novak, come in. Great. That's just great. It's the tube that supplies the chamber with the fluid and electricity. Maybe I should check it closer. It's the tube that supplies the chamber with the fluid and electricity. Maybe I should check it closer. Too dark there. I wouldn't see a thing. The door is held firmly closed by the hydraulics. I can't force it open. Pal to Novak. Novak, can you hear me? This is Pal. I read you. Listen, I'm injured. It's really bad. What? What is it? Man, it's bad. Just get to the cockpit as fast as you can. Uh, okay, hang in there. I'll be there in a minute. It's stuck. The computer must have tried to close it according to the atmosphere containment protocol when we crash landed. I hope the hull is intact. I can't use that to force it open. It controls the door. The hydraulics are under pressure. If I could release them somehow... It's empty. Unscrewed the tube. There's an adapter piece underneath it. It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. Looks like poor Johansson didn't make it. I should have a second look at him after I manage to open the chamber from the medical room. The panel doesn't have power. I need something to power it up. That doesn't need... That doesn't... I don't want to unscrew that. There's no terrain data. It's too dark there. I wouldn't see a thing. I don't want to throw that in the other room. Looks like the hibernation chamber is leaking fluid. I'll have to check back here later to figure out what's wrong with the system. I... I don't want to... It's empty. I broke it open with the wrench and released the valve. Wow, that, that does look nasty. Right. Listen. We need to get this rod out. The suit's meant heck has sealed my wo wounds. So I'm alright for now. But you will have to patch up the hole in the suit after you've removed the rod. You, you'll need some glue for that, I guess. I think we might have something in the cargo bay. Hurry up, alright. And everything shut down after the crash. So I read it, tried to get the power back online, and reboot the mainframe. I'll get on it. I'll monitor your progress on helmet cam, radio.
radio me when you need help. Thanks, Novak. That's still captured to you. Yeah, make me say it. Ah, oh, just get to work. Both consoles blew up. First Novak's, then mine. I got lucky, he didn't. I hope he makes it, though. I admit, I don't like him that much, but I don't want him to die, either. That's not gonna seal... I should operate the other screen. The touch panel has no power. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. That won't seal the hull breach. It's an endless desert. Why do spaceships always crash land on desert planets? Why couldn't we have crash landed on a tropical beach planet? Broke it open with the wrench and released the valve. It's too dark there. This control panel seems to be fine, except it doesn't have power. I don't want to damage it if possible. The panel doesn't have power. I need something to power it up. I need to use something with power in it. That doesn't need fitting together. Johansson, our late engineer, used to use the top of these cabinets as a work desk. They're full of his stuff. I don't want to put that in there. There's nothing else. It's the main power conduit that channels power to the rest of the ship. It seems to be offline. It has a safety switch that shuts down the power going through. I won't be able to tighten the screws with that. That doesn't. I can't you. I can't attach that to. I don't want to unscrew that. Several cables seem to be loose. They must have been torn down when we crashed, and most of the conduits are fried. The ship has very little power, and the reactor is offline. I will need some extra power to start it up again. That has no power. The right engine is shot to hell. The middle engine looks fine from the outside, but you never know. We'll ultimately find out when we get off this rock. Get that screwdriver. You might need it later. I can't use any of that stuff. I don't need... It's the main power conduit that channels power to the rest of the ship. It seems to be offline. That's not going to seal the suit. That doesn't need. The wires are too short. I can't wind them into a transformer. There, I've tightened 
the screws. Wait, that should have turned off the safety, and the conduit should be humming with power. I've screwed the... The ship has very little power. That doesn't need... That doesn't... The ship has very... The right engine is shot to hell. The middle engine looks fine from the outside, but you never know. The engine... It's beyond... I don't even want... That doesn't need... That doesn't need... That doesn't need any... Maybe a good smack on the top of the power on this box and engine. Initiating boost threat of mainframe. Warning, main reactor offline. Currently operating on auxiliary power. Finally. Nice job, pal. Computer. Determined cause of course deviation. Course compromised due to an extreme gravitational anomaly. Specified source of anomaly. Shockwave regression analysis plates the source of anomaly on the second planet of the Beta C Igni system. Specify our current location. Beta C Igni 2. Wow, we're on Dead Rock? The Dead Rock? Looks like it, yeah. Well, that's just fantastic. Of all the inescapable places in the galaxy, we had to end up here. I admit, it sounds pretty bad. No, this is way worse than bad. We're on the one planet that no one's ever returned from. Even the UN has declared this place off limits. Well, you're right. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Computer, damage report. Main reactor offline. Engine 1 and 3 offline. Hibernation chambers 1 and 2 offline. Hibernation chamber 3 non-functioning. Hull breaches detected in cockpit, medical room and cargo bay. Carbon dioxide concentration and ship exceeding toxic levels. Wow. That's all? Ah, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yes, it is. No, listen. We might have a chance to get out of here after all. We still have one engine intact, and the thrusters seem to be working too. But you need to see what's wrong with the hibernation system and seal those breaches. Go and check the CO2 filter in the med room. It hurts like hell when I try to move, so I'll just stay here. But I'll try to scan the planet's surface for life signs. I should take a sample of that and try to figure out what's wrong with the hibernation system. I can't carry a sample. No use climbing it. The upper walkway is blocked as well. It's a universal adhesive that uses nanotechnology. This baby fills up holes and cracks like nothing else. The nanobots inside distribute the material so it's absolutely airtight after it is cured. I'll need something to carry it around in. It's full of fine leather jackets. It's full of fine leather jackets. The containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during the crash. One herring will be perfectly enough. The containers are blocking. It's full of fine leather jacket. One fire. It's a universal at. I can't fill. I don't want to stink. I'll need something with good leverage to move these containers. I'll need some. No use climbing. I wouldn't do that. It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. I should take a... It's empty.
that turned off the ventilator in the medical room. The readout says that the carbon dioxide levels in the ship are too high. I should operate the other screen. The ventilator that turned off. Both consoles. The console is beyond repair. The console. That's not gonna. That's not gonna seal the suit. That's not. Go to the medical room. There's a syringe inside. This is where it's an access panel for the life. That was pretty easy. The steel pipe is part of the O2 circulation system. It's a thin insulation. It's a thin insulation foil. I can just rip it out if I want to. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. It's a status report on the hibernation chambers. It says there's a malfunction in one of them. If we can't fix the hibernation system, there's no point in even taking off. We wouldn't survive the voyage without hibernation, even if we go to the nearest starbase. Opening hibernation chamber three. It's supposed to be an examining table, but Johansson used it as an extension of the desk when he ran out of space while working on one of his experiments, but it's surprisingly tidy now. I'll need a larger sample. I could carry some of the nano glue around in that but I need something I can use to apply the glue to an exact spot. There's not enough glue in the syringe to seal the breach. I'll save this and try patching the hole with a larger dose later. I can see something inside the drain, but I can't reach it with my... The steel pipe is too... The screwdriver isn't long enough to pick out whatever's down there. I need to figure out some other way to get it out. I managed to get the rod out and seal the suit but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon. His suit's med hack needs to take care of his wounds again. I'll just leave him here to rest for now. Oh yeah, and I broke the syringe in the process. Sorry about that. I'll need something with good leverage to move these containers. I moved the containers out of the way with the steel rod.
there's a small crack behind that bulkhead. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have been overloaded. I don't want to put the mask on that. I don't want to... It's empty. Feel that drain into hands in hibernation chamber, it's in liquid. That's a good idea, but I don't want to waste the sample. I need to get some other liquid. I already have some of the fluid. The panel is functioning perfectly, thanks to the batteries in the doll. I should present it with something to... Analyzing sample. Please stand by. No living cells found in sample. Did you get that, Novak? Yeah. Looks like the nutritional fluid is shot to hell. It must have been the extreme gravitational forces. We'll have to replace the fluid somehow. Have you seen all the sand out there? I doubt there's anything living on this dead rock. Ah, uh, I think I get the name now. That doesn't really help us, you know. But I've been able to scan the surface, and I found another vessel that has crashed. It's not too far. Were they caught in the same crap we were? How am I supposed to know? I don't even know why we crashed. I detected no life signs, so it must have been a while ago. Anyhow, you'll have to visit that other ship. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I've been unable to jumpstart the reactor. There's just not enough juice. Plus the computer says that the plasma injector is fired in engine two. Damn, it looked like it was okay. The good news is that the other ship is emitting a standard military distress call. So it's probably a military ship, which means compatible parts for us. I never thought that one day I'd actually appreciate your enthusiasm for all things military. See? Anyways, see if you can find some replacement for the hibernation fluid, and a spare injector for the engine. And we'll need some extra power, so take that empty fuel set from engineering with you, if you haven't already. Is that all? And get me a cheeseburger while you're at it. Okay, pal out. Large fries. Pal out. Diet cola. Knock it off, you stupid son of a bitch. I heard that. I know. Now let me get to work. I've done... I've opened it. I've taken out the old filter. I'll have to find a replacement somehow, but I'm almost sure that I won't find a spare part on the ship. I might have to rig something together from what I do find. It's supposed to... Feel that drain in your hands. I've poured the beer down the drain. It's filled up, and now there's something floating in it. What a waste of a perfectly horrible can of beer. Won't seal the hole. The glue gun can be filled in the cargo bay. The 
the glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. The glue has The glue I can't turn on the ventilator. I think you have the materials to rig a replacement CO2 filter. That doesn't need gluing. That doesn't need wrapping into insulation foil. I don't want to light that on fire. I can't use... That doesn't require carbon. I don't want to put... That doesn't require carbon. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't require car. I don't want to stink that up. I think you have the materials to rig a replacement CO2 filter. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't. I don't want to put the... I don't... I can't use any of that stuff. I don't even know what they're good... I already have some of the... No use climb. One firecracker will be in. It's full. The control panel that opens. I should use. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have been. A I can't use that. I can't use that to override the circuit. I can't. I. I can't. The breach is sealed. I can't. I. I have overridden the controls with the electric wires, and the control panel is now working. I should use the control panel to open. Open says me. I still have a couple of things to do here before I venture out into the desert. That doesn't need fitting together. That doesn't need wrapping. That doesn't... Good thinking, except there's nothing covering the back of the gas map. We're almost there, but f The gas mask will serve as a temporary CO2 filter. I'll just have to turn the ventilation. The readout says that the CO2 levels are starting to normalize throughout the ship. I think you're ready to leave the ship. I appreciate your honesty. Now, do you have anything to say, or did you just call to piss me off? Just a recap of what we need. A full energy cell and a spare ejector for the reactor. Plus some sort of replacement for the nutritional fluid of the hibernation system. I knew all that. 
You really do like to play captain, don't you? I don't have to play it. I am the captain. Okay. I uploaded the coordinates of that other ship to your suit. Plus some terrain data. Okay, thanks. I'll get back to you when I have something. Pal out. It looks like the sand contains high concentrations of saltpeter. There's no oxygen in the atmosphere. Pow to Novak. Yes, what is it? Are these coordinates right? I don't see a shipwreck here. No, you're still several clicks off. Oh, come on, man. Where am I then? Hang on. I'll check the terrain data. Uh-huh. It looks like there's a gorge that's several miles long. You'll have to get across it in order to reach that ship. Can I go around? Nah, that would take days. Try to find a path that's not too deep. Or build a bridge for all I care. Just get across. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Just figure something out. Will do. Pow out. It's too wide. I can't even jump it. The bridge was torn down. I don't think I can use it to get down to the ledge. The remaining cable isn't long enough. I'm almost certain that this is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. They seem to be made out of some sort of smooth stone stand about twice as tall as I do, and they look re It's a massive stone pillar. If my eyes don't deceive me, it's slightly taller than the distance between the two sides of the gorge. Several stones are loose at the bottom of it, on the side facing the gorge. I know it sounds crazy, but can't you use that pillar at the gorge as Hmm. Could work. I'll look into it. If I'm going to move this thing, I'll need more than simple tools. If I'm going to move... If I'm going... The bridge was torn down. I don't... It's a portable pylon for rigging bridges. I think it's used by the military. If I'm going to move... If I'm going to move... If I'm going... If I'm... If I'm... There's a corpse on the ledge. Poor guy must have fallen down there when the bridge was destroyed. I can see a cargo container too. It's too dark down there. I can't see a thing. If I throw something down there, it has to be something that emits light. I can't go there until I find a way. That's funny. The damage doesn't look as bad from out here. Anyway, there's no point in going back there until I have a charged power cell some hibernate. Let's not bury things in the sand, okay? Examine the sand near our ship. I've got. I don't want to mix it. I don't want to mix it with that. I don't want to mix. I don't. I don't want to stick. That makes. N I'm no bomb expert, but you 
got carbon in the filter, saltpeter and the sand, and... I don't want to... I've placed the CO2 filter. Wow, I must admit, I did not expect that to work. This one already has the remains of the bridge tied to it. Unfortunately, I can't go down to the ledge on this. Looks like someone tried to build a bridge here. It's unclear whether they succeeded before it was destroyed. The pylon's a bit loose, but I think it can hold my weight if I can use something thin to descend. Looks this one. I can't go down until I have rope or something. I can. Powder Novak, are you seeing this? Yep, looks bad. It seems to have been ripped apart. It's possible they were caught in the same gravitational disturbance as we. But this looks like a Taurus class cruiser, the big sister of our Morning Star. Yeah, about that anomaly. Did you scan for it? Yep, but the computer is unable to pinpoint its location. All we know, it's somewhere on this planet, and we need to get rid of it to take off. Otherwise, we'd be doing this all over again. Got it. I'll take a look around inside. Maybe I can find out what happened to these people. The ship was torn in half by the gravitational forces. It says Armstrong. It must have been an attack cruiser, but this gun array is now useless. There's nothing more. the wrong that's the wrong card it says I don't want to go back there as I said The control panel has no power, the wiring has rusted, so there's no way I can supply power to this unit. Better. That may have worked on our ship, but this lock is damaged beyond repair. I need to take it. That shot has melted the control panel and the control mechanism behind it, but the door is still closed. I think I'll have to force it open. I don't want to damage the control panel. I don't. I don't want to dam. I don't. I managed to force the door open with the rod. Without the hydraulics holding it in place, it was relatively easy.
This log contains the coordinates of a camp in that canyon. He has nothing more. Cable is tied firmly to the pylon. I can now rappel down, but the cable's only long enough to get me down to the ledge below. He has nothing else. Using the copper wire is a good idea but I need to find some kind of frame so I can wind the wire around it and make a transformer. I don't want to wind... I don't want... This log contains... I don't want to go down there. It's a large boulder. I can almost go around it to the back of the wall. I don't want to put that... Creepy as always, it's as if it were standing guard. But I'm sure that's just my imagination running wild. This log mentions a distress call that one of their crew sent out from a crater. That should put the source in this area. He has... Its lid is all bent up and crooked. It looks like it took a shot or was dropped from up high. I can't open... It won't fit in the crack. The screwdriver is not... I can't use that. It won't fit in the crack. Nothing there. It's broken beyond repair. I have no use for it. It's a grave. The rifle on the headstone is useless. It might be a good idea to dig it up, but with my bare hands, it could take hours. The rod is too thick. It d The tent pole is too thin. It won't be able to handle the torque. The shovel head is almost completely useless with It's broken. He has nothing. I have tied the rope around the book. I've got the rope in place.
that doesn't need. That's still a huge area to cover on foot. I won't go there until I know exactly where the distress call is coming from. That's funny. The damage doesn't... That's funny. Try opening that smashed container at the abandoned camp. Its lid is all... I can't use... I can't... I don't want to... I have located a distress beacon at that small crater. There's hundreds of these things, and they're all facing that ledge. Okay, I'm officially declaring this the creepiest thing on the planet. For now. This door is huge. Something tells me I'm gonna get answers in there. It's a massive steel door. There's nothing else. Plasma flare is not working. I can't fill up the flare's plasma tank with that. I should be using this on something that... I can't fill up the flare... That doesn't need glue. I can't fill up the flare's plasma tank. He has enough. You should try exploring the gorge even deeper. There's nothing. I already took all the inst. He has nothing. He has nothing. It's broken beyond re He has no he has no There's hun I removed the servo controller, but everything else is busted. It's a massive st- That could work, but I'm not doing anything until I have some idea about what's inside. There's nothing else- Man, this door is huge. 
Something tells me I'm gonna get answers in there. That could work. There's nothing else I can use here. These parts came from a metal structure or device. They have hardly any damage on them. I don't want to... He has nothing else. I don't want to I don't want I don't want to attack I don't want to shock that Need to find something with a lot of energy to fill this baby up. The ship was t This is where the plasma... This... I've removed the coupling. I think I can simply remove it. Activated the plasma flare and have thrown it down over the edge. I hope there's enough light down there now. It's glowing nice and red. Great. All the rope I want, now that I don't need it anymore. That doesn't need timing. He has nothing more on. Try to scan the entrances at the crater. The scanner's picking up gravitational fluctuations from the other side of the door. I need... Okay, but let's find a detonator for the charge first. That won't help. That... You should try getting through that huge door in the crater. I saw no external controls, so you might have to put a hole in it. A big one. That could work. That could work, but I'm not doing anything. The scanner's not picking up anything from... If I use the charge like this, I'll blow myself... I've attached the armed detonator to the door and started... Novak, this is Pal. Do you read? You're breaking up a bit, but I hear you. I might be onto something. I found a large structure with a generator inside. It's huge, and it's making me feel dizzy. Something's wrong with the gravity in here. I think this might be the source of the anomaly, an immense gravity well or something. I've been scanning the surface for 
garage, but I found nothing. I think this is putting out a lot more than our sensors can handle. Ah, I see now. This gravitational thing is confined like a tunnel, and both we and the Armstrong went through it. I think we might have skimmed it, but they got torn right in half. Listen, I'll plot a safe course and set up the autopilot to get us out of here. Plot that course, and I'll get back to you as soon as I have the power cell plus the hibernation fluid. I'll disable this gravity generator just in case our tunnel theory is wrong. I hope these weird stoneheads won't mind. They look creepier and creepier. Actually, they look just like you, Novak. Just shut up and get to work. This is where the immense gravitational field is created. It seems to be supplying the console with power. This is a status display. The bottom markings are identical to those on the power cable. There are three symbols on this energy cable. They are similar to those on the console. There are three. Two alien symbols. I think they show the status of the cylinder. This unit seems to be running. The symbols displayed on this unit look different from the other ones. The rest of the units seem to be running, but this one is switched off and it's empty. This device looks almost identical to the one in the generator room, only this one is about a hundred times smaller. The contents of each cylinder seem to be floating in mid-air, so this could be some sort of anti-gravity generator. Okay, that never happened before, and it creeped the hell out of me. It doesn't seem to... Holy crap, that looks like a human skeleton floating in there. It's too... This table and its lighting has a striking resemblance to an opera. Hmm, I wonder what these guys want with Earth. Hmm, it's three symbols, similar to those I've seen on the consoles. odd. Only one planet in this system? Hmm, 
that's odd. Only one planet in this system? I can't open it with my hands. It's way too deep. It's spinning real. There's nothing I could stick in there that would make it stop. I'll have to find some other way to shut it down. I have turned off the gravity well. A crystal lowered itself from the generator. The crystal is hovering above the shiny dome. The machine must be still generating a smaller local gravity field to keep the crystal afloat. Anyway, this seems to be the heart of it all. I think I need to destroy the crystal to get rid of this gravity generator for good. That's not gonna just. Managed to turn off the power. The console is still on, so it must have a backup power source. This thing has a lot of power. Maybe I can store it somehow. I can't do anything with these. There are. I can't. Holy cr Enter the code for the solar system and the code for off into the storage console. Hmm, that's odd. It's a green goo that looks exactly like our hibernation. these guys want with Earth. I've had enough skeletons for one day, thank you. Besides, it looks like all this stuff is packed underneath them.
Hmm. There's a log entry on this card about a star system with a single planet. Admission time, 0850. seems to be supplying the there are there are three symbols on this energy cable they are similar to those on the console it's way it's an access panel I've disconnected the wires, but the ventilator is still running. I guess... I've disconnected the wires, but the ventilator is still running. I guess this is just a monitoring... I can't use that. I can't... I can't use that. I can't... That doesn't require the spare engine part, or the plasma in it. I can't... I've disconnected the... I can't... I can't... Trying to recharge the fuel cell. I can't... I can't... I can't use that. I can't... I can't... I can't... That's not the right kind of... I can't... I can't... I can't... I've disconnected the wire. I don't want to attach that to the wire. I've disconnected the wires, but the ventilator is still running. I guess this is just a monitoring circuit. I'll need to override it somehow to stop the ventilator. I wonder if this is the planet that was mentioned in the log of the Armstrong's captain. Hmm, I wonder... The crystal is hovering above the shiny dome. The machine must be still generating a smaller local gravity field to keep the crystal afloat. Anyway, this... It seems to... I don't want to... The power's back on. Better turn off the power first. crystal is hovering above the shiny dome. The machine must be still generating a smaller local gravity field to keep the crystal afloat. Anyway, this seems to be the heart of it all. I think I need to destroy the crystal to get rid of this gravity generator for good. Nothing. Nothing. Disable the gravity generator using the console in the generator room. There are
are three the crystal is hovering above the shiny dome. The machine must be still generating a smaller local gravity field to keep the crystal afloat. Anyway, this seems to be the heart of it all. I think I need to destroy the crystal to get rid of this gravity generator for good. It's a massive steel door. It doesn't seem to notice me. And yes, there's nothing. I've had enough skeleton. turned off the gravity. This device looks almost identical to the one in the generator room, only this one is about a hundred times smaller. The contents of each cylinder seem to be floating in mid-air. So this could be some sort of anti-gravity generator. I don't know what would happen, so I'd better not. I don't know. It's three symbols, similar to those I've seen on the consoles. It's a green goo that looks exactly like our... It's three symbols, similar to those I've seen on the consoles. This is the planet that was mentioned in the log of the...
nothing. 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 That storage cylinder is already offline. Nothing. That storage cylinder is already offline. Nothing. This table, it doesn't seem. I'd better leave it. I'd better. I'd better. Yes? What is it? I think we've got a problem here. What did you just do? Um, I shut off the gravity generator. Why? Sensors just picked up airborne objects. I think you pissed off someone or something in there. I think they sent out drones to do recon over the area. How many are there? I don't know. A few dozen. Did they spot you? What's their trajectory? I don't think they've located the ship. Thank God we're on auxiliary power. Otherwise they would be all over me by now. Hang on, I got visual. Yep, they're flying drones. They're ignoring the ship so we're good for now. But I don't know how we're gonna take off with these things in the air. They don't look too friendly. Well, they aren't. We've seen the damage they can do. Remember that camp? Right, so now what? You can't even get back to the ship. I don't know. Give me a few minutes. I'll try to figure something out. Okay. It's a miracle they can't pinpoint my radio signal. Just lay low. I'll call you soon. I can't use that to override the ventilator controls. I can't... I can't... That's not the right... I can't... 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 You, I can't... I've disconnected... Look around outside. Maybe you can find out something about these drones. wasn't here before.
before. That wasn't. Try to get rid of that stone head that's blocking your way to the outside. Use force if you have to. Novak, are you seeing this? The stone heads are the drones. What? Then get out of there quick. Hang on. I don't think it wants to attack me. In fact, I don't think it can even see me. Hey, then maybe none of them can detect you. You can walk back to the ship after all. Sure. Would you take that bet? No way. Nor would I, so I'll have to find another way to get back. And we have to figure out how to take off with all the drones in the air. Right. I'll try to think of something. Pal out. I've overridden the ventilator's controls with the drone's controller, but the ventilator is still running. It looks like the board has power now, but it needs to send the appropriate commands to the ventilator's systems. I guess I should program it somehow, but there's no buttons on it. It's displaying an alien symbol. It's dis... I've overridden the vinyl... Use that. I've overridden the ventilator's controls with the drone's controller, but the ventilator is still running. It looks like the board has power now, but it needs to send the appropriate commands to the ventilator's systems. I guess I should program it somehow, but there's no buttons on it. I can't... I can't... That won't... It's... It's display. That won't do. That. I can't. I can't. I. 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 I can't. I can't. are all gone. It's a massive steel door. It's not safe to walk around in the open desert with all those drones out there. I'll have to find another way to get to our ship. It looks like it's scanning the area. I think I pissed it off enough already. Let's go while it doesn't see me. I think I pissed... Better. I'd better leave. It's way too deep. I won't even attempt to go down. display that won't do any good I can 
just read the contents of the car. I can't use that to override. That won't. That won't do. That. I can't use that to override the ventilator controls. It's not safe to walk. I can't. E I should be using this on something that can fly. I'd better leave it alone. I think I pissed it off enough already. I don't think I should turn it back on unless I have a good reason. I can't turn it back on, even if I wanted to. I destroyed the reactor crystal, so it's gonna stay off. It seems... It's displaying an alien symbol. worked out which pins I need to bridge and have attached two wires to each one. Now I can send command codes to the ventilator's systems. I think the ventilator is stopping. Novak, check this out. Probably. I don't think these drones are operational. I think I'm safe in here for now. That's great, but sooner or later you need to get back here somehow. Well, walking back is out of the question. I wish I could fly back to the ship like them. Hang on. Maybe you can fly back. Say what? Well, this is a long shot, but can't you take one of those drones and fly back here? Wait. Do what now? How big are these things? Uh, about three meters tall. I think you could fit inside. No, Novak, this is crazy. No, it's perfect and elegant. You just mingle with the rest of them and fly straight here. It's the perfect disguise. Okay, I admit it. It sounds good. But trust me, it looks a lot more difficult from where I'm standing. Well, that's kind of your problem. Appreciate the empathy. Do you have a better idea? Well, n no. Well then? Okay, I'll see what I can come up with. Pow out. Looks like someone... There's an entrance... Holy crap, this corpse is not human. It looks like it was stabbed to death. It's still warm, so it must have happened recently. Uh-oh, that means that whoever did this could still be around.
It's a workstation with computer screens and all kinds of tools. I think someone was trying to figure out what these drones do and how they work. It's dry. There's a trail leading towards the exit, but then it suddenly stops. Looks like someone was running diagnostics on this unit. Looks like people have been hiding out here for a while, long enough that they took the time to put together this bunk. I don't want to put that there. I don't want to put... The weapons are useless. Looks like there's a few parts missing here. I made some modifications, bridged the connections, and installed the servo controller. It's a mess, but it'll do the job. It's held in place by nuts, so I can't remove it with that. I've removed the weapons to... I don't want to install... I can't use that. I think this is where the energy... I've installed the energy cell. This is where the weapons used. I don't want to install anything there. I need the room. This is where the web. I've installed the. Find out what's wrong with that drone in the hangar. I've installed a replacement flight controller computer. Holy crap! Looks like. That doesn't require the. scan this drone, and if I'm reading this thing correctly, they are vulnerable to EM discharges. Novak! What's up? Look at this. This drone received a high-energy electromagnetic shock, and it knocked out its power supply. I think we can exploit this. Hang on a second. Let me check something with the computer. All right, I've got it. We can use one of the damaged engines on the morning start to create an EM pulse. The right engine still has some plasma in its buffer. Polarize it, and there's your EM pulse. Okay, but how do we trigger it? I haven't got that figured out yet. Anyway, you still need to get back here first. So we've still got time to think about that. Well, alright. But let me know if you have something. Pow out. The graph displays electromagnetic radiation and power output. Looks like this drone is totally busted. The graph displays electromagnetic radiation and power output versus time. Everything looks normal. Status display for power, weapons, flight control, and guidance. I don't need weapons, but I've got to bring the rest online before I can leave. This is where the... The graph display... That's no use. I don't want to install anything there. The energy... I hooked the makeshift scanner to the drone's systems. It's crude, but I think I'll be able to home in on our ship's location. This is where the weapon... 
It's welded shut. Boy, someone really wanted to make sure nothing gets through this. I managed to separate the two wings of the door. I've unwelded the two halves of the door, but it still won't open. I guess they're just stuck. I've unwelded. The drone is ready to fly, but I can't take off in here. I need to move it outside. The drone is ready. Drone. The drone. I can't use. I can't use. I can't. I can't use that to pry the. Get back to the ship. The drone is ready to fly. It's dry. Holy crap. He has no- there's nothing else. It's a mass- that's no use. There's nothing else. It won't budge. That's no- Looks like people have been hiding out here for a while, long enough that they t Holy cr- It's tr It's a workstation with I can't use- I can't use I can't use that I can't use I can't use finally I push the stone head outside on the trolley Novak, I'm back. Get ready for takeoff. Hey, you made it. Are you alright? I'm fine, but I might have alerted the drones to our presence by breaking formation, but I don't know for sure. Don't start up the engine until I'm done with everything. I'll detach the engine from the ship so we can eject it after takeoff. Does the ejection system work? Luckily, yeah. Alright. I'll repair the main engine, repair the reactor, check to see if the algae sample can be used in the hibernation system, and detach the right engine. Sounds great. See you soon on board. It's broken. I'm not going out there again. The breach is sealed. Did you hear that, Novak? We can use this stuff to recultivate the nutritional fluid in the hibernation system. Sounds great. Keep at it. We're almost out of here. The breach is sealed. Repair the main engine. 
The engine doesn't need that. That won't help me. It ain't broke anymore. Several. I have installed the fuel cell. The reactor is ready to kick in. Prepare the main. Several cables. It's beyond. It's humming peacefully now. I should operate the other screen. The breach. Looks like he's ready for takeoff. I better go and prepare the ship. I already have some. I don't want to. I can't use any of that stuff. I don't even know. There's nothing. It's humming peaceful. I need to fix it. The engine. The engine. The engine. The engine. The engine. I have installed the plasma injector. The engine is ready to fire. Disconnect the right engine from the hull, so we can. I need to cut the support. I use the welding tool to separate the engine from its supports. Now it's ready to eject into space. No back to pal. Yeah? I've compiled the flight control interface while you were working. But I still can't move, so you'll need to hook up a tight screen in front of me, so I can fly the ship manually. Yeah, about that. Still no idea how I'm gonna pull that off. Oh, crap. Now what? The drones just changed course. They're closing in on us. Get to the cockpit and install that screen. We need to take off now. I'm on my way. There. Finally. Initiating launch. Wait. What about the damaged engine? We'll eject it as planned. What's the point? There's no way to detonate it. There's no time for this. They're coming. Worst case, the engine will distract them. Well, it's it's a long shot, but uh hang on, what if I take a shot at it once it's jettisoned? Do whatever you want. I'm taking off. Alright. I'm gonna get back to engineering. Try to keep it steady, will ya? Fine, just go. Novak, I'm ready. Hit it. Finally! You son of a bitch. Throttling up.
gonna get in position to fire. Let me know when we're far enough to detonate. I guarantee you it's not going to work. Just give me a countdown, dammit. Ten seconds. Get me a cold beer. <laughs> 